right, let's see how we're going to spend our hard-earned money today. And, oh, you heard it. Looks like we're going to do some parlays. The Milwaukee Bucks came through for us last night. Uh, when Giannis got ruled out, I almost changed my pick, but um, I did add the under, uh, but I just doubled down after it went to three and a half. It changed to one and a half immediately. Uh, then it went to uh, plus three and a half for the Bucks, and so pregame, I jumped back on them. Uh, but they covered both numbers uh, in the under hit, and uh, we only missed the thunder. So uh, Lakers just were not losing that game. Uh, that's all it was. So two and one we go, and um, good day. Uh, only going to talk about two of the nine games today. Um, just going to get in, get out, and uh, try to make some money. So let's talk about it. What's up, everybody? Crash here. Welcome back to Crash Against the Spread, where we talk about sports from a betting perspective. It is Tuesday, March 5th, and we have nine games on the card. Uh, only going to go over two of them. It's actually the first two. Uh, so if you like content, just like the channel, subscribe, um, all that stuff. Let's go ahead and get right into it. We are going to talk about the Magic and the Hornets. It's that 7 p.m. game. Magic are eight and a half point favorites on the road. Um, Hornets are 15 to 46 on the season, uh, eight and 22 at home. Uh, in their last 10 games, they're five and five straight up and seven to three against the spread. So they did have a little run after the all star break. Um, I think that was a uh, kind of a, a surge uh, with some new players. Uh, right now, their injury report is kind of crazy. Um, Curtis Martin out, uh, Steph Curry out, uh, Williams out, Ball out, Richards out. Uh, only Fultz is out for the Orlando Magic. So, it is questionable. So, uh, looking at this game, I think the Magic are... Uh, Far and above the better team. Uh, I also like the under. I know it's all the way at 207. But in most cases, um, not most cases, but in a lot of cases, uh, the Orlando Magic are holding teams under 100 points. So no matter what they score, um, there's room to get this, uh, get this under. So the Detroit game, that they played last was 113 and 91. Uh, they got a game with Brooklyn in here, 108, 81. So with Charlotte um, not having the offense that they'd like to have, I think that uh, this Magic team can clamp down and keep them at bay. And, you know, the Magic don't normally score 120 points themselves. So I think we got some room to still get this under. Uh, they are, the Hornets are 2 and 8 to the under in their last 10. Uh, Magic are just 5 and 5 to the under, but head to head, they're 4 and 6 to the under. So, um, definitely, definitely some room there. But I do like the Magic to win and um, cover this 8 points as well. So, either side you want to take, I'm definitely going to be on the Magic. Uh, Celtics and Cavs. Uh, Cavs are eight point home underdogs, totals at 215. Um, I like the Celtics uh, to win on the road here um, after the Cavs lost that last game against the Knicks with no Brunson, no Ananobi, and no Randall. Um, not really looking to back them right now. Uh, Donovan Mitchell is going to be out until mid March. Max Drews is also out. Um, Isaac Cora out or questionable. And Karis Levert is also questionable. Uh, Levert has been out the last two games. 
uh, Porzingis questionable and Jalen Brown questionable. Jalen played in the last game. I think Kristaps was out. Yeah, with the left quad contusion. So, um, hopefully he'll play this game. Even if he doesn't, I still like the Celtics. Uh, Tatum and Brown have been on a tear. And uh, they have been beating teams really convincingly in the last week or two. So, uh, 29-3. and three. No, 19-9 and nine, um, on the road is Boston. And I think we're going to rock with their uh, their road record. So Boston Celtics minus eight. I kind of like the over in that game. Um, I trust the Celtics offense more than I trust the Cavs defense right now. So uh, those are going to be the picks. Uh, let's lock those in. Let's get this money. And we will be back tomorrow for some more NBA talk. Talk to you then.